is going on everybody? We have the second gen finally here at Iron Ape Coatings and Fab. You guys saw in the last video that we got the whole transmission powder coated. We got it all taken apart, rebuilt, powder coated, looks absolutely amazing. Caitlin over here absolutely kills it every single time she does parts that I need. So if you guys missed that video, I went ahead and clear coated. Or uh, This is all powder, it's not paint, but I'm just going to say coated, uh, whatever. Clear coated the, uh, the shifter. Kian gave me that. It was brushed aluminum. I just added some uh, clear powder to it. Illusion purple on the shifter. Um, alien silver on this part right here. You're never going to see that part, but we got it coated anyway. This part right here, you're never going to see that coated in illusion purple. Top cover illusion purple. This little view cover illusion purple. Alien silver for the base. And then the PTO plates got illusion purple as well. We actually got a lot more powder done, but you guys saw that in the last video. If you guys want to check it out, I'll leave a link down below to last video where you can see all the stuff getting powder coated. But we have the truck up up on the lift. And yesterday, you guys have seen me take the transmission out hundreds of times. Probably not hundreds of times, but a few times. So I did not record anything about taking this transmission out. But this is the old 47 RE. Um, yeah, I maybe had like 100 miles on this thing. <laughs> That's why I'm uh, putting an MV4500 because this thing is junk. And I'd rather have a, a standard uh, in this truck here. So um, we got that transmission out. All of that's left to do. Um, actually, not all that's left to do. But you guys saw me do a whole bunch of stuff in the interior. So we put the pedals in. We got the slave cylinder in. I had to reroute all the wires for my gauges and any wires that were coming from the engine bay into... Oh, the sun's coming out. I was waiting for the sun to come out so I can show you guys this transmission in the sun. But it's kind of windy today and a little bit cloudy. But it looks absolutely killer. It probably will get dirty super quick being underneath this truck, but hey, it looks good now. But um, all the wires that I had to run, or all the wires that ran through the firewall before I thought about doing this swap, um, I had to reroute all them because I put them through the spot where you put the slave cylinder. So I ran all of them back through the firewall, drilled a new hole, put a grommet, and then ran them back through, put all the gauges back in. We took the um, shifter on the column out. I got the actual plastics that come in a manual truck, so there's not, so there's not gonna be a hole where the shifter is on the column. Um, I redid some of the wiring for the gauge that's on the steering wheel because you were able to see it. This time I went ahead and drilled a hole in the original plastic. It runs up through there and you can't see the wires anymore. Super clean under the dash now. There's a ton of wires going everywhere and I cleaned it up pretty dang good. I'll show you once it's off the lift because I can't really open the door uh, in there. And then yesterday, um, I'm not sure if I showed it, but I cut a hole in the floor for the transmission. I still have to cut one for the transfer case. But I think for now, I'm ready to throw this thing back up on the lift, raise it up, and then we can install this Valair dual disc clutch. So we're gonna have to take this thing apart, take the pressure plate off, take the clutches out, the spacer plate, mount the flywheel. Uh, we have a spacer for the starter, and then we have the flywheel bolts. Um, I got all the torque specs on my phone, so I'll uh, retorque all those down. Uh, to what they need to and then I'll put a little mark on here showing that I, I torqued it just so I don't have to be like oh did I torque that one down no um, but yeah we'll throw this clutch in and then we'll be ready to uh, put this transmission MV4500 on a transmission jack I got some uh, I think these are pillowcases underneath here so I don't scratch anything um, it's probably gonna get a little bit dirty um, when I uh, start putting it in because my hands are gonna be dirty, I'm gonna try to keep it as clean as possible for now. Like I said, it's probably gonna get dirty being underneath this truck, but it looks good now. Um, a lot of you guys are probably, <laughs> so got all that powder done. And then since I don't have the front axle for this truck yet, um, I didn't do anything with the transfer case. Um, so, it's gonna look kind of bad under there because this transfer case, there, you know, there's no powder on it. Um, this is actually the drive shaft for it. I have to get uh, three new U-joints and a carrier bearing. So I'll head down to the parts store when we get to that point, uh, buy some new ones, and then I probably am gonna have the drive shaft powder coated when, nah, I'll probably do it before. 
uh, because I'm gonna get new new U-joints anyway. So we'll get that drive shaft powder coated and then when we finally do the front axle conversion, uh, we will take apart this transfer case, possibly rebuild it, not sure. Uh, we'll powder coat the, uh, the case for that thing. So um, this really isn't really a good representation, but you know, this is kind of what the transmission looked like when I first got it, this is Chase's transmission that came out of Wayland's red truck ratchet shifter with a built 47 RE. But I wasn't trying to throw a transmission that looked like this back up underneath the truck. So, you know, that's why I powder coated it. Might as well, you know, <laughs> it looks good for now. <laughs> but um, let's go ahead, throw this truck up in the air, baby. Get this Valair Street dual disc clutch installed and then we'll get this MB4500 on a transmission jack and uh, bolt it in. I'm super excited. Hope you guys are too. Let's get to it. So there we go, we got the Valair dual disc street clutch fully installed, everything's torqued down, locked, tighted, and we are good to stab this transmission in here. So I'm gonna go ahead, throw this baby on a jack, lower the truck down, and uh, we'll be able to throw this baby in there. Man, this thing looks so good. It's all dust right now because it's windy, it's blowing dust everywhere. But I love how this thing turned out. Came out so sick. The shifter though. Let's do it. Excited. What is going on guys? We are back in the morning. It was actually a few days ago I attempted to put the transmission in by myself. Took, tried for like four hours, couldn't get it. The next day, no one was here all Saturday, so I had no one to help me. Sunday, yesterday, no one was here until like 
right before it started getting dark and you know of course it took me four hours trying to put it in chase helps me the next day takes like five minutes uh easier with two people that's for sure but we have the mv4500 in the truck i'm mocking up the um the inside right now so i didn't show you guys this before because i couldn't get my door open i pushed the truck forward a little bit but we have the illusion purple clutch pedal and brake pedal in i was gonna do the gas pedal or throttle pedal whatever you want to call it but there's two plastic clips that will break if you take that off so that's why that wasn't coated but man i am super excited look at how sick this thing looks with that shift knob illusion purple man and i'm surprised that i'm able to use this cup holder still because you know it's not going to hit it may hit with reverse but man i'm super eh hits a little bit but if it gives me a problem when i'm driving uh i'll just take it out but as far as I know, it shouldn't give me a problem, hopefully. But yeah, I'm mocking this up. I still have to cut the transfer case hole, but overall it is coming together, man. I am super excited. So today, um, Caitlin's supposed to be down here powder coating some wheels. I'm gonna get her, I have a whole bunch of parts over there, mainly for the drive shaft. So we have to get new U-joints and a new carrier bearing anyway, so I cut so I took the whole thing apart, I sandblasted it, you know, I got greasy fingers, I'll wipe that down with some uh, brakes parts cleaner. But we are gonna coat the drive shaft in some powder. Uh, I think I'm gonna do Alien Silver because they have more Alien Silver than Illusion Purple right now. Um, I think for like, I guess what I'm gonna do for the whole drivetrain, like the transmission transfer case, drive shaft and then possibly axles in the future i think i'm gonna go all uh alien silver for underneath and then for like the accents since my whole engine bay pretty much is illusion purple i will do illusion purple for the traction bars and uh whatever other accent pieces there is so be alien silver mv4500 transfer case drive shaft so that's what we're gonna go with for the drive shaft. Um, but for today, I'm gonna finish mocking up the inside and then cut the hole for the transfer case. And then we will probably throw the transfer case in. This video has been over a couple days, so I'm not sure what I said, but we are leaving this the way it is until we get a front axle and then we'll drop that thing uh, possibly rebuild it if it needs to be rebuilt. Obviously, if we're taking it apart to powder coat it, we might as well rebuild it. So uh, we will rebuild that and powder coat it when the time comes to put that front axle under there. And um, yeah, so let's get to work, finish this thing up. I may need a new slave cylinder. Um, I'm gonna see how much Chase wants for the one that came off of Wayland's truck that he's putting on. It's already put into that truck because I already put it in. Uh, but I want to see how much he wants for that slave cylinder um, because I think mine's broken. Uh, I'm missing a piece in the part that presses the uh, the fork and the throw-up bearing. So, um, yeah, we still have a lot of work to do. All right, we have the truck in the air. Had to take the exhaust down because it's hard to get this cross member in with a big old five-inch pipe. But since we have it down, we might swap out that muffler for just a five-inch uh, straight pipe just to get that muffler out of there when uh, diamond I sent me that I accidentally told him uh, The kit with the muffler on it instead of the muffler delete. So that's why it had a muffler on there But we took that down We got this cross member in we got the supports in for the transmission. So the transmission is solid now And now we can uh, go throw this nasty um, Nasty transfer case in there. I've already got grease up in here got the bolts right there ready to go I'll just take those off when we go and throw it in there um, this transmission jack made it a whole lot easier Ed brought that down so huge shout out to Ed um, so that way we're not using this one like I did uh, a few days ago and uh, yeah I think we're ready to throw this transfer case in there I mounted up the slave cylinder so um, 
that jack is leaking the hydraulic fluid. But uh, Chase let me grab the slave cylinder off of uh, Waylon's old truck that we had on his truck. So I threw that in there, got the pedal all working, and um, we are that much closer. Well guys, there it is. Transfer case is in, cross members in, secondary cross members in, skid plate is in, NV4500 is in. So that's pretty much gonna be it for the video guys. Can't really do much more until we get Caitlin to powder coat that drive shaft. Um, and then I put new carrier bearing, put a new carrier bearing, new U-joints. But yeah, she is coming together. Pretty much, she's right there. All I gotta do, like I said, is cut off Cut a hole in the floor for the transfer case, get that drive shaft, and fill it up, fill it up with fluid. Um, I got some synchro mesh, and it is right there. But anyway, guys, we will see you in the next video. We're gonna have the drive shaft powder coat. We're gonna put it in, and then fill it up with fluid, and back this thing out of the bay. It should be super exciting. I am super excited. We will swap that muffler out for it looks like two and a half foot of pipe, maybe two foot of pipe, uh, five inch. And so we can have a true five inch turbo back or down pipe back because the down pipe is uh, four inches. But we have to do something about this before we go on an actual like really good drive because these tie rod ends are just shot to heck. And then obviously <laughs> this, uh, this sway bar, we don't really need a sway bar, but um, we gotta fix that. But there's just a ton of stuff to do to this truck to make it road worthy. You guys know I drove here on a bad uh, wheel hub assembly and that tire almost, or wheel almost flew off. So we got a lot of stuff to do, but getting it to this point, it took a lot of work. You guys don't understand how much time. To do it right, you can just go ahead and throw everything in there willy nilly. But to do stuff right and try to do it clean as possible, obviously I didn't powder coat this uh, cross member. I had to bang it in, powder wouldn't, wouldn't have looked good. The transfer case, like I said, we would do that when we do the front axle. Uh, get rid of this two wheel drive and make, it, make this truck a four wheel drive. Uh, four link suspension lift kit. Um, should be look, it should come out pretty good. But anyway guys, stay tuned for more videos on this 2001 Dodge Ram 2500 MV4500 swapped Cummins. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Dippin' Diesel.